No. 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 So it appears someone, maybe of a higher power, allowed Lex to make a zombies perk ranking video. I don't know who allowed this, who authorized this, but it should have been canceled the moment it got thought of because I, I took a little peek and I was already triggered. And you know 2022, if you're triggered, that means you're in the right. So therefore my opinion is already more relevant than his. So Lex uploaded this ranking every COD zombies perk video and he didn't have the cojones to put it on the main because he knew I'd find it, but I found it and we're gonna critique it very harshly and very unjustly and very unfairly. So before we do get onto that though, we do have to hear a word from our sponsor. And like I said, this video is being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, Raid Shadow Legends is celebrating their third year anniversary, so shout out to them. Happy birthday. They are officially three years old now. Now, to celebrate their third year anniversary, I thought we'd do a little top three, so to say. I'm going to give you guys my three favorite waifu champions. You know your boy, huge fan of waifus. The third best, in my opinion, is going to be Ray. She's very, very, how do I say this politely? Uh, thick. The second one is, is kind of like in the opposite direction. It's going to be Visic the Unbowed. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And she just looks like she could stomp you to death. We're very pro that here. And last one is gonna be my personal favorite, Madam Saris. I like the witch themed, you know, it's like the giant family friendlies sticking out uh, demonetization. So that's gotta be like the best part about Raid is that they just have so many awesome waifus for you to collect and you can get them all. That's the best part. And Raid also has a bunch of new stuff coming to celebrate their third year anniversary. It's going to be huge. It's gonna be the biggest anniversary. I can't do it, Donald Trump. Raid's gonna be kicking things off with free gifts to everyone and adding a bunch of new content. We're talking champions, artifact sets, in a fully personalized video showcasing every raid player's personal journey. And if you know that, then no cool enough. They also have a month full of special events, tournaments with some of the best prizes ever, including badass new champions, piles and piles of shards, and tons of other goodies. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description and download Raid Shadow Legends, not because I told you to, but because I told you to. And if you are a new player and or an existing player, you're gonna get some goodies. If you are a new player, you're gonna get a special little birthday package. If you click on that link down there below in the description or scan my QR code, you're gonna get a special birthday package worth $40. We got three free champions at once, Misery Cord, Tiger Soul, and Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, plus 10 Force XP Brews, and 10 Spirit Brews. But if you're an existing player, you're gonna get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth $25. Once you're in game after clicking on that link down there below, enter the promo code three years rate to get your hands on all the goodies. Shout out to Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you for sponsoring the video and uh, resume the regular content. So I don't wanna sit here and bore you guys with too much detail and uh, unnecessariness. So we're gonna skip to the end. I'm gonna see where he ranked everything. And then I'm gonna try to find a couple perks that I disagree with and just tear it to shreds. But first, let me see if he commits the usual cardinal sin. It's been a while since I've made a video like this where I just absolutely punch above my weight class here. Did he commit the cardinal sin? What, what's he, what are we basing these perks on? Okay, this is good. No, this is perfect. Chat, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. One in the chat if we do it like this. I think, I think this is good. Okay, so, boys, four perks. God tier, horrible tier, bad tier, designs after. I mean, yeah, we could. Okay, let's start off. Chat, what is the worst perk ever created? So it doesn't appear that we're taking anything into consideration. So it's free reign. It's like the Wild West out here, man. You can do whatever you want. So let me skip to the end. Let me see where he places everything. And let's see what all we can absolutely demolish. Now, there's a lot of perks I don't understand. Like, you know, a lot of Black Ops 4, I don't really know what they do. So the first thing that I'm noticing is why the why is Double Tap uh, 1.0 in F tier? That's the It's right next to Deadshot, which it, it should definitely not be. Double Tap 1 is actually pretty... What? 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 Okay. Double Tap 1.0 is actually pretty good. It's not up there. It's not SSSA. I'd probably put it maybe in... B or C, I'd probably put up there with Mule Kick somewhere somewhere right around there. It definitely doesn't deserve to be. I don't understand why. It shoots bullet fast. The only complaint that I've ever heard with Double Tap 1.0 is, oh, you lose ammo faster. Yeah, but you're you're killing zombies faster. You're putting... Fa Do you not understand how, how that works? You're doing more damage faster, so of course you're going to waste ammo faster because you're killing zombies. I never understood the argument. Let me go see what his excuse for this was. Let me go find it. Chat, Double Tap right 1 start. also belongs right in the start. horrible tier oh because God. it is terrible. Why? Chat, what is worse, Deadshot 1 or, or, or sorry, Double Tap 1 Don't or Black Ops 1 Deadshot? Which one is That's worse? That's not even a comparison. About it here. Nah. That's not even a comparison. One doesn't do anything on PC. The other, the other does stuff. It does things. Double Tap hurts you. Deadshot does nothing. 
That is true, though. Double tap does not hurt you. It actively helps you. I never understood that argument. It makes bolt action cycle faster. It makes pump actions, you know, pump faster. Double tap 1.0 is actually a good perk. It's not, you know, the greatest perk, but it's actually pretty good. Can I be real with you, boys? I think that is it for the horrible tier list. Oh, man. Dude. Me and Lex are going to have to square up here soon. Me and Lex are going to have to square up. I can't even handle this blasphemy right now. See, I can't... I don't understand what we're ranking them by. Like, if we're doing high round stuff, then Double Tap 2.0 shouldn't be that high because eventually bullet weapons aren't going to do anything, so it doesn't matter. It all depends on what we're... Time slip? Are we taking in the... I don't... I don't... Are we taking in the modifiers too? I don't remember. Tombstone should be an F tier because you can't even use it in solo. Where did he, where did he, what's his excuse for that being above double tap? Original Tombstone is shit. It is. Why, Why is it chat, in you guys know D? That? It like, doesn't even do it. You can't even use it solo. Tombstone is shit. You can use but the other on ones in solo. Co-op, it is actually time. really good. So that is what I'm going to say. It's not though. Original tombstone. Because you can get like an one extra. It allows you to get one extra perk, but you have to go down and hope your teammates aren't at it. It's okay, just too chat, complicated. Is tombstone or who's who better? Who's who? Uh, that's who's who is absolutely better because you can combine that with, I don't even care about zombies and I'm getting heated. God, I hate when people's opinions differ from mine. Your opinion should equal mine and you should not have any different opinions because my opinions are right and your opinions are wrong. Actually a really good question. <sighs> I really feel like these are interchangeable because no. it really just depends on if you're playing solo no. or co-op. The next one I think- Alright, let's just watch the rest of this because I'm getting- I'm getting way too upset. I think we're gonna have to put in his blaze phase. Blaze phase is I don't even know really what that does. a terrible perk. I mean, is that the one where you sit it and crouch one of the and like- the perks ever made. I think we can all agree, agree with that. The reason why I'm it's... not putting it in F tier is solely because of the fact that it can get you out of situation. You so I'm gonna have to skip through a lot of these perks because I don't know what half, like these Black Ops 4 ones are going right over my head. I can't, I couldn't remember what all 18,000 of those dog shit perks do. How does anyone so remember what all Chat, these what perks else can do? What put into C tier here? Mule so Kick 1.0, you know what? I agree, I agree. It depends what game you're on, to be honest, like, if you're playing Black Ops 3, where you can get double, triple pack punch, however many times you have to pack punch in that game, then you get better. It's better. But if you're playing Black Ops 1 or 2, it's not even useful for high rounds because nothing does anything on high rounds. It all depends. If we're talking Black Ops 1, I would rather have... Dude, the double tap slander is really pissing me off. I would rather have that than Mule Kick. It's a very good perk, but I think it belongs in B tier solely because it's a situational perk. Bandolier Bandit is an incredible perk. Bro, where I the think. fuck are all these perks? Can we get- I what? Believe what? We need to get to the perks that I actually know what they do. Okay, what's the next one? When, when do we get to an actual perk that matters? I'm skipping all the new perks because I don't remember what half of them. Half of them have like 12 different effects and you can't even remember what any of them- can do bo1 stamina bottom of a it is the worst version of stamina up i have to say it's the worst version of stamina up and it just doesn't live up to everything and i i don't know if i would put it above electric cherry though i don't know if i'd put it above that i don't think i would the only real times i grab it are on ascension when you kind of need it because it's the only real option or on origins to get through the mud other than that i never find myself grabbing stamina up unless i get it for free i don't like this fix it also chat i think i'm gonna put vulture aid right behind it vulture aid right behind quick revive i believe <sighs> i you guys know me and quick revive man just don't go down and you'll never use it i think i would put vulture aid in a I feel like Vulture just hasn't seen enough maps, to be honest. Like, it's a really good perk if you think about it. Like, ammo drops when you kill things. Like, imagine Vulture with the Thunder Gun or something, you know? Way too overpowered. Please nerf. So I would definitely put Vulture in the top. It's way too overpowered. Like, you just pick up ammo. So, for, like, for any Wonder Weapon that requires ammo, it's God tier. I would put it in A. I, I would put it in A. Just look at Buried Strat. All you literally need is Vulture Aid and the Paralyzer, and you just go camp somewhere, and you're, and you're golden. Vulture Aid is one of my favorite perks of all time, and it really could be an S-tier perk if it was on more of the maps. Kind of agree on that but, one. I mean, I'd put it above Quicker Vibe, though. Isn't. Chat, what is the best perk of all time? I okay, would... out of all the perks that he has right here, the best perk of all time. Um, Let me guess here. It's got to be OG Jug, right? OG Jug, 
I don't remember what the new jug does. So I'd say jug, widows, jug or widows wine. It's got to be one of those two. That's what I'm thinking. Would even argue, chat? I would argue it's double tap. I would argue it's double tap. Oh, oh no, he's retarded. No, no. Why? Two Why? Final. I'd actually argue it's double tap. Argue. Polar PhD would be S2. Damn it. He cut it out. Fuck. I would say no. Why? Why is double tap? Uh, you do more damage, but like on Black Ops 2, 3, it's not really that good on high rounds. Like what are we, what are we doing? What are we, who have we become? That double tap 2.0 is not better than Jug or Widow's Wine. I would rather have Jug. I'd rather have majority of those perks than double tap 2.0 to be honest. Like, yeah, it's good for early rounds. But once you get up there, the zombie's health just becomes too much. And it's like, what? Chat, I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of people might not agree with me, but Widow's Wine is the second best perk of all time. Okay. You're, you're really getting there. You're getting there. Okay. Widow's Wine is Little redemption. A little redemption. Not a lot, but a little. Widow's Wine is one of the most OP perks of all time. Very it OP. deserves to be one or two. That's why they had to nerf it with like Winner's Whale or that whatever garbage part they replaced it with. It is better than Jug. It It is literally way better than Jug. It is so powerful. Uh, I wouldn't say it's way better than Jug. I would say it's on par with Jug. I would still probably rather have Jug, to be honest. But Winner's Wine is definitely very, very, very good. Like I right, Let me see where he ranks the rest of it. So he changed up his S rank. He put... Widow's Wine up there. Okay, respect. Moved Garbage Revive to the bottom of S. He, he sized up, put Double Tap here. What, what did he have, like an epiphany? What happened? Low key, I would put Double Tap 1.0. Probably above that. That, I'd put Who's Who up a little bit. Um, i probably put it on par with... I always get it over Mule Kick, so I'd probably put it over Mule Kick. I, I'd probably be a C. It's not great, but it's definitely not... It doesn't deserve the salander it's getting. Okay, so let me... let me. I'm just... All right, so we're going to take a look at this. this. I think this is his final list. Widow's one I can agree with. Uh, the Jug I can agree with. The other ones I don't know enough about because I don't remember. Double Tap 2.0, I wouldn't put it all the way up there. I'd probably put it at A. I mean, you can't put Vulturate at A and then have Double Tap 2.0 at S. Like, you can't be having that right now. Speed Cola... Eh, I don't think I'd put it at S. I'd probably put Speed Cola at an A. Quick Revive, just go go straight to F. It's useless. Just get good at the game. Uh, the uh, PhD, I'd probably put at a at a B. It's really map focused. I never got it on Origins just because there's no high jumps. For, like the main thing that I loved about Flopper was like the no fall damage and Ascension. Like I used that so many times. I just there's not really that many good explosive weapons back in the day that you use besides like Mustang and Sally. So I. Uh, flopper, I could see being A, A or B, probably one of those two. Um, Electric Cherry, I'd probably keep it right there. Uh, Mule Kick, I I would have Mule Kick and Double Tap at the same spot. Uh, who's Who, I would probably put up to Mule Kick's level because if you have Quicker Vibe with it, it's pretty goaded. Dude, we need more of these and more maps. Like, if we had every perk in every map, like, they, Treyarch, heaven forbid Treyarch ever releases an actual, like, full zombie game, and we can have every perk in every single map. I think you would see a lot more who's who usage. I mean, honestly, the double tap slander is really pissing me off. Like, I've heard this ever since World of War. Don't get double tap, it's just a waste of ammo. But you're actively killing the zombies faster. It's not a great perk by any means, but it's not an F tier. It is not F. It is not down there with fucking dead shot. So Lex is a fake and a fraud. He don't know what he's talking about. He has been blinded by bullshit propaganda. And I will not stand for it, boys. I am I'm gonna rise up. I'm like the cream in the zombies community. I'm coming all over everyone. Dude, I'm gonna rise up to the top and fucking blah, blah, blah everybody's faces. Cause I will not stand this double tap slander any longer. So that is it. Uh, this list, I can agree with some of it and I can disagree with some of it. But in the end, my opinion is right because it's the internet and his opinion is wrong. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know down there below in the comments. If you guys like to see more videos like this, give me 2,000 and 100 likes. 2,100 likes and I will make another one. If not, you're going to keep seeing meme videos. So, you know, that's it. Peace. Bye. He's around here somewhere. We're going to find him. <laughs>